Hey everyone, welcome to a quick update to the medical images world. I uh, went down to the emergency room again, I'm fine, don't worry, um, where they did a bunch of tests and uh, got copies of the medical data from there. So a couple of new things we'll go through, um, kind of simplest to most complex. So over here we have another x-ray, this is upper chest. Um, I can't read x-rays that well. Do not worry about like this weird metal stuff. This is just like behind me when they took the x-ray. Um, I don't really know what it is, but it's quite regular. Actually, I know what exactly what those are, come to think of it. They are the, um, they did an EKG. Um, this was one of the x-rays that they wheel it into the room and then they point it at you. So this is a yeah, EKG lead. And so the, the lines here are actually the leads, come to think of it. Yep. So these are the lines here and here and here coming to the EKG. So that's the x-ray. Everything's labeled again. Um, there's another brain MRI here. It's a lower power MRI. Um, so there isn't as much detail. So I've got some different settings than I have on the one over there. Um, again, the value pane is exposed. So you can try messing around with it. You can just tell instantly that it's a, of lesser quality because there's uh, it's they've chopped off the top of the head. There's less detail on the bottom of the head and the nose is just a bit suspect. Um, the brain data is still all there and this is the best view I could come up with on short notice. If you uh, come up with any settings here, which are super cool, um, take a picture of them in game, send me that picture. I'll um, add a preset um, slider like this main one here. So this one is still here. Um, that is the uh, the good MRI. It's got the color data in it. Um, play around with that one. There's lots of presets there. Here are some MRI frames. Uh, these came free with the MRI data from the uh, low power MRI. I just thought it was another cool way of looking at them. So uh, they're in the wild. You can take a look at those. And then there's an upper chest CT. Um, this one's really hard to play with. Uh, so you'll see here, uh, this is neck and then shoulder and shoulder and then chest. Um, and you can mess around with these things and kind of save some data. Again, if you see any good, um, any good presets or numbers here, take a picture of them, send them to me. I will add presets and let you know, um, when they're in. So if I mess with this a little bit, you'll see what I mean by it being cool, but tricky. So if I do this, um, this here is, uh, rib cage, spine. I don't know what this is. I think it's the esophagus. I just don't know. And then this here, it's either the heart or the stomach or a mixture of the two. I'm not sure. It is an upper chest CT. So you can see here that if I um, play with the settings again, it doesn't do the full... Um, There we go. It doesn't do the full, um, the full sort of chest. It's just the sort of upper chest. I say upper chest because like it cuts off literally right below the, um, the bottom of the rib cage. Uh, if it had gone a little bit further, there might've been more of that, but I guess you'd call that just abdominal. I don't know. I don't know medical terminology. It's just upper chest. Um, play around with it. Also ignore the stuff on the back here. Um, these are just plates that were in the CT machine that I captured on the scan. If I had known these were here, I could have sliced them out of the image and I might do that later because you can use multiple ones of these slices. And so what I could do is have a vertical slicer here that just kind of cuts that off the back. Again, here the puck works. You can slice through this. If I do this, you can see um, this is all lung stuff. So here you can see um, bronchioli or bronch I don't know what the names are. The, the things that, you know, branch out and get smaller and smaller. There's also, again here, I think this is probably the esophagus here because we're in the lungs. But if you go up higher, you might be able to see or maybe lower. Again, it's been ages since I did biology. Um, I think that actually might be the windpipe. You see how it splits there? You can actually see that if you do this on a, you can see, oh dear, flew away. You can see here and here, like this is the, the main um, branches of the lungs here where it goes into the left and right lung. You can also see bits of the liver here. Um, Again, there's a rib here. It's sort of, it's cool. It's just hard to kind of play around with. So if you, if you come up with any presets, let me know. Um, the last uh, 
current batch of testing that I um, can get in here is what's called an echocardiogram. That's a, um, an ultrasound of the heart, and I'm kind of unsure how to represent that because it's a new data type. These are all slices or images that um, are you know singular and quite easy to sort of play around with. The angiogram has a video which shows my heart beating. It's kind of creepy, and then there's also a bunch of images as well, and they're they're really hard to look at. So I might just put one of the videos in and one of the, one of the images because um, they don't really mean much to. Um, someone unless you're trained to look at those because they're just like ultrasounds are really sort of grainy and uh, hard to read because they're based on sound whereas this is you know based on x-rays and radiation and cool stuff again a reminder licensed on uh, CCE by uh, BYNCSA which means do not sell these do not make money off them but pretty much do whatever else you want with them but you have to share like the results play with them take a look at them um, they're here for the news community to take a look at I will see you next time. I actually don't know where my UI is to shut the video down, so we'll uh, have to find that. Oh, that's the file browser camera streaming. There we go. See you next time. <laughs>